Unfortunately, the answer is yes. We've seen, especially in the last several years, that um, non-smoking people are getting lung cancer, especially women. We tend to see it in women. One, one in five women with lung cancer don't smoke, and that's a fairly significant number. Exposure to secondhand smoke does increase your risk of getting lung cancer later in life, and it's, it's a cumulative effect. I think the more secondhand smoke that you're exposed to, the more likely you are to develop lung cancer at some point in your life. It's not an absolute, but it does raise your, your risk. Unfortunately, the damage that's done to your lungs from smoking is, is permanent, and so it's, it's very good that you quit smoking and it will lessen your likelihood of getting lung cancer, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're in the clear. You're still, you still have an elevated risk of developing lung cancer at some point in your life. Well, there are several different types of lung cancer, and a lot of it depends on which type you develop, and it also depends on at what stage it's diagnosed. If it's very early and localized just to a single solitary lung mass, your chances of survival are greater. If you have widely metastatic disease, meaning it's gone to several parts of your body, then your, the survival rates go down, and it also depends on the actual cell type of the cancer. So, no, it's just because you receive a diagnosis of lung cancer does not mean you're a goner, but um, you know, early detection is important and early treatment is important. We don't routinely screen for lung cancer in the outpatient setting. In people who have chronic lung disease, COPD, emphysema, and are at very high risk for developing lung cancer, a yearly chest x-ray may be something that your primary care doctor will, will pursue. But really the chest x-ray is the best way of looking for early cancers. Well, we see lung cancer in people who have been exposed to asbestos. Um, we also see it in people that are exposed to radon, and, and those are probably the two other largest causes of lung cancer outside of smoking. You know, we don't understand why, but they develop it without any exposures to any of those things. I think drawing attention to it and, and just starting a conversation first off and then being as supportive as possible because, unfortunately, tobacco and nicotine are extremely physically addictive, but also psychologically, and so it can be an uphill battle, but I think support, um, seeing your doctor, medications if you need to, perseverance are all very important.